In this lesson, let's add the next set of keyboard shortcuts, which will be primarily used for finding, replacing, and refactoring features. In VS Code, we can easily open up search panel by pressing Command F on macOS or Ctrl F on Windows. But in addition to that, I'm also going to add this Vim style keyboard shortcut to open up search panel, which will be space FF. If I'll press space FF, we get this panel where we can search, press enter, and navigate to the place where this particular text is used. We can also open up the same panel, but with additional replace field if you'd like to do search and replace. And to open up this panel with a replace field, I'm gonna use space fr. The command identifier will be start find replace action. Let's try it out. I'm gonna press space fr. In the first field, we have to type in the text that we need to replace. And in the second field, I'm gonna type in the text that we have to replace the found text with. And after pressing enter, the replacement will be made. Let's discard these changes and get back to init.lua configuration file. The next couple of shortcuts will be responsible for global search and replace. The first one will open up search panel to find something globally. The command identifier will be found in files and I'm going to use space fg keyboard shortcut for it. And if I need to replace something globally, I'm gonna use space rg. So to open up panel of the global search, I'm gonna press space fg. We get this side panel where all places with search matches will be listed throughout the whole project. And in the same way, we can press space rg to get the same search window with additional replace field. And we can do search and replace globally. Moving on, the next shortcut will be used to rename some symbol. I'm gonna use space RE, which stands for rename. The identifier of the command is also rename. And now I'm gonna put my cursor on any symbol that I like to rename. Press space RE. Here we are specifying the new name for this symbol. Press enter, and there we go. It was renamed. Sometimes we need to do some modifications to a particular place and we can use a refactor panel in VS Code. And to open up this refactor panel, I'm going to use space RF shortcut. Let's see it in action. If we we'll put our cursor on any element, press space RF, we get this window with a couple of options. They depend on which particular symbol we have called this command on. For example, if I'm going to open up this refactor panel while being on this import statement, in here I'm going to see different list of options. Let's press enter and this refactor has been made. I'm gonna discard this change and get back to configuration file. Let's add another shortcut. And this one will be used to apply quick fixes. The shortcut will be space qf. And to demonstrate this shortcut, I'm going to make an error in this file now let's try to open up quick fix panel. I'll press space QF. Here we are presented with a quick fix option. Let's choose one of the available options. As for how we can fix this part of code, press enter. And there we go, VS Code has applied the fix for us. And finally, last shortcut in this lesson will be used to open up auto suggestions window. I'm gonna use space SG to open up the list with suggestions. Let's specify trigger suggest command identifier and try this shortcut in action. So for example, if I need to open up autocomplete window as I'm typing, since this autocomplete window does not appear for me automatically, I have disabled this behavior. So if I need to see this autocomplete window, I'm gonna press space SG and choose one of the available options. And as you may have guessed, this one is also contextual and depending on where we're gonna open up this suggestions window, the list of suggestions will be of course different. And of course it also depends on the part of the text that we like to autocomplete. And that is it for this lesson. In the next one we're going to move to another set of keyboard shortcuts.